Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today I bring you another challenge guide video, this time for the challenge Nightcrawler. And for this challenge you need to complete two other challenges, same as the last one. Those two other challenges being Caesar Dressing, where you have to get 343 assassination kills in campaign. And the other challenge being Bedtime Stories, which is completing seven night missions in campaign. So we're going to go ahead and start out with Caesar Dressing, which is getting 343 assassination kills in campaign. So one of the best methods that I found was going to Nightfall, and you want to go ahead and load it up. Of course, you want to start at the beginning of the mission. Once you do that, make sure you're playing on Heroic or Legendary because you can't get challenge points if you're playing it on Normal or Easy. So once you got the appropriate difficulty, I do want to note that you can turn on this thunderstorm skull which upgrades the rank of the elite that you're going to be back smacking a whole ton. And the reason you're going to want to turn on that skull is because it actually gives you points for another challenge as well which is keep killer and for keep killer you gotta kill 500 high ranking elites in campaign. So having that thunderstorm skull on just essentially it basically just gives you it lets you progress towards two challenges. I do want to give a little shout out to my friend Neo for actually, you know, mentioning that because I didn't see that and having that on is going to really help you. It's going to progress towards two challenges and that itself is going to, you know, save you some time. So you want to go ahead and do that if you don't have the keep killer challenge done yet. So now you're going to go ahead and just load up the mission, skip the cutscene. And of course the first thing you're going to want to do is sprint up this hill. There's going to be one elite and two grunts nearby. And you want to go ahead and melee the elite first, so that way it doesn't get alerted. And you want to kill the two grunts. Do not assassinate him like that, because that might wake up the grunts. That was an accident by me. What you want to do is melee them and not assassinate them like that. Um, do not do that, because that could potentially alert the nearby grunts. Or rather, the nearby grunt. And then you're going to want to go ahead and proceed downhill. And you're going to see these three grunts sleeping and what you're going to want to do you're also going to see a jackal and what you're going to want to do is definitely take out the jackal first sometimes a jackal spawns further away but if he spawns nearby i would recommend killing the jackal first if he's far away you could go ahead and start on the grunts instead of the jackal um and yeah so you want to kill the jackal and then go ahead and melee these grunts as well and boom that's really all you got to do and just rinse and repeat so now that you've unlocked the caesar dressing challenge we're gonna go ahead and load up the same exact mission and we're gonna do the bedtime stories which is where you have to complete seven nighttime missions and it has to be on heroic or legendary as well can't be on normal or easy so make sure you have the appropriate difficulty of course i would recommend putting it on this difficulty since It'll just make it easier for you. So just to show you guys how quick this method is, I'm going to go ahead and just turn on time. So you can see how short it is if you do this correctly. If you do it perfectly, I would say it takes about like five or seven minutes. And you only got to do it like seven times. So it would probably take about roughly about like 40 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't know. It kind of depends on if you do it good or if you mess up a lot. But uh, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. It should be like at least most, I would say, an hour. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is hug the right wall. The, the freaking right wall is going to be your friend. And so you kind of want to do the same thing as the last challenge here. You want to go ahead and kill these grunts so you don't alert them. And then you're just going to want to stay on this right side over here. You're going to want to hug the right wall. Keep running throughout here. And you want to make sure you don't get spotted. You just want to hug this right wall. Like I said, it's going to be your friend. Um, be careful of those rangers. Sometimes they don't do that. But um, yeah, you definitely want to watch out for that. You just kind of want to run through here along this little catwalk area. And then you go right into this room. Once you make it into this room, you're going to want to let your sprint regenerate. And then you're going to go ahead and run through here as fast as you can. You know, don't engage the enemies. Only kill the enemies over here. I would recommend. Um, try to kill these enemies. Oh, okay, I messed up. That was terrible. <laughs> so yeah, it might, it might take a couple tries. Um, if you really want to, I guess you could kill these elites. 
or take out this gunner and then you kind of want to just run along here um you know you could save your nades as well you want to go ahead and possibly throw a grenade over here so they get out of your way you kind of just kill them um, and then over here, you're going to want to let your sprint regen as well, so you don't get caught with these giant freaking monsters. You're going to want to hug the right wall, like I said. Right wall is your friend. Over here, keep hugging it. Just keep running by. I mean, that's really all you're going to do most of this uh, mission. You're just going to want to... Know, keep sprinting past all the enemies and everything up until you get to the forklift part so i'm sure a lot of you already know about the forklift skip it's like a very popular method um yeah i just want to keep running along and for this part you actually want to go on the left side and not the right wall you want to go on the left wall over here and what i do is kind of jump on this rock and then just crouch jump up here oh okay well that was a horrible fail I you know, just kind of kind of want to jump up there and then just keep running along the left wall here you're gonna want to follow these uh, glow sticks over here it's pretty pretty easy pretty simple even on a higher difficulty it's still pretty simple you know you just want to keep following the glow sticks keep sprinting up until you get to this certain point I'll show you right now this is probably okay, I would clear. say the trickiest part um, but you, don't worry I'll definitely show you guys how to get past it and if you've taken like some damage there's a health pack here so you can definitely grab that as well and then up at this part there's gonna be an elite on the bridge and you're gonna want to be careful because the elite kind of like patrols he just walks around on the bridge and you're gonna want to take him out first of course you want to you know, back smack him you don't want to alert the grunts so for example that's an example of what you don't want to do if you mess up you know you could just revert to checkpoint so yeah that was a perfect example of what not to do i won't lie i do kind of struggle sometimes on this part but i mean it should be pretty easy it's a lot better than actually playing like through the whole entire campaign mission and so let's take a look so the elite is kind of just patrolling like i said sometimes you could take a chance and smack them like right here although right here he's kind of looking my direction so you can't really do it but you kind of want to wait until he's like enjoying the view over here the mountains and stuff or over here like he's doing right now and then you want to go ahead and back smack him put him to sleep <laughs> <laughs> and kill these grunts because if you don't kill these grunts nearby the freaking uh getting on the forklift is going to alert them so you want to kill all those grunts and then you get a checkpoint there which is very useful so you could just in case you mess up you know you can revert to the checkpoint and then you're going to want to line up this forklift um about like that let me see it doesn't have to be exactly close to the wall but try to get it like as close as possible and you want to have like the butt of it the butt of this thick forklift you know against like the middle part of this door right here whoops i'm taking a little too much time and i alerted the grunts um and then you kind of just want to glitch through so let me see let me go back a little bit um dang dude i nailed this like perfectly last time it can take a few tries you know don't expect to get it right every time there we go so as you can see you just want to do that and once you've done that you're just gonna sprint keep sprinting over here and for this part no enemies are gonna spawn so really you could just run whichever way you want you don't have to like hug the wall or anything because all the enemies are going to be despawned so it doesn't really matter and that's pretty much it i mean you just kind of sprint towards the ending here there's nothing much else to do you just want to sprint to it and boom there you go you should get a point towards it after this cutscene let's see boom see so we got two out of seven and it took me about six minutes and six seconds and i messed up like two times i believe so even with the two times i messed up it only took about six minutes that's pretty good so imagine if you like do it flawlessly it's probably only going to take like five five minutes possibly 
Um, and yeah, you just want to keep doing that. You want to go ahead and exit this level and go back to Nightfall and just rinse and repeat, same as the last challenge. So there you guys have it. That is one of the best ways to unlock the Nightcrawler challenge. If you guys found like a better method, you know, please let me know um, and let everyone know. So that way we can get these challenges done quite quickly. I do want to note that doing these challenge guide videos is kind of a new thing to me. So some of my stuff I might not explain um, quite well, <laughs> but I'm trying to improve on that. I think it's fun making these videos and I continue to plan on doing these kind of guide videos. So if this helped you, you know, definitely consider liking, subscribing, shows your support. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this challenge myself and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.